Welcome. I'm Mr. Sonderback, and I'm going to be talking to you today a little bit about the College and Career Center here at Vista High School. Uh, if you didn't know who I am, I'm Mr. Soderback, and I run the College and Career Center here at Vista High. And we're going to go over a little bit more about where it is, uh, what it does, and also to get you started a bit on uh, your College and Career Readiness section of Flex. So where is the College and Career Center? Okay, well, we're located in the B building. Uh, it's on the opposite side of the library. Right off the main quad, center is open every day from about 8 to 4 p.m. Unless, of course, I'm on a field trip or I am out at a meeting and things like that. Typically, you're going to find me at lunch uh, during flex time, uh, also between periods uh, and times like that. Uh, and also, of course, after school. The center is laid out so that it's more like a resource center with most of the information is going to be around uh, the edges of the center. Uh, in the middle, uh, there are always tables uh, and chairs. We use it for everything from group meetings, college visits, sometimes career speakers, workshops, et cetera. Uh, kind of like the library, you're free to come in uh, and use the center as long as you're focused on college and career stuff. Around the um, edge of the center itself, you're going to find uh, information uh, about colleges, apprenticeship programs, scholarships, SAT, financial aid, you name it. Uh, feel, feel free to always take uh, anything uh, from the shelves or off the tables. All the brochures and stuff are there for you. So what do we do here? So part of the activities we do are focused around college. So there's usually about at least 60 college visits to campus per year. Uh, what those are, are those are major colleges and universities. Many of them are local, but many of them are from across the United States, right? And these are college reps or college admissions officers who are on campus to present and talk to you. So if you're a junior or even a sophomore or a senior and you're interested, um, in a, a specific college, um, you are going to check with me uh, on our Canvas page and see when that college is actually going to be here on campus. Uh, and then you're going to be able to sign up for those sessions. So most colleges only visit our campus once a year, and many of them will be doing it here in fall. Uh, we do get some in spring. Some of the creps, uh, the uh, college reps um, don't come on visits themselves. Some of them will only come to our fairs. Right, we have our big college um, fair coming up in fall on October 2nd. That's going to be at flex time out in the main quad. Right, they also come to the futures fair, uh, and some of them will even come to some of our industry events. Uh, we do go on college tours of many of the local colleges. So, for example, Cal State San Marcos, uh, SDSU, UCSD, and UCI. We usually do that in fall. Uh, we're in springtime. We'll go out to Palomar and Miracosta. Uh, these tours are for seniors. Uh, sometimes we will have room and uh, we can have some juniors come along as well. Uh, we also conduct financial aid workshops. I have SAT and ACT fee waivers. Um, we also help with college applications and registration events. Uh, we also do college preps and scholarship workshops. And of course, uh, part of the college activity uh, is Senior Scholarship Night, which happens right before graduation, right? And seniors last year earned over a million dollars in scholarships. So you definitely can, can take advantage of that and bring home some money. All right, so here's some pictures of some college activities uh, on a tour. Uh, that was up in the right-hand corner there. That's a department tour we were taking. Sometimes we go and tour departments of local colleges. Um, there's uh, Palomar's campus down there, and there's UCSD off to the right uh, on the lower corner. So we do that. Um, also, the other focus is career activities. Uh, through the center here, we offer Zello uh, to every student here on campus, and that's so you can build your own individual career plan, right? And Zello is a multi-use tool. You can look up careers. You can look up colleges, you can look up majors, you can make plans. All right, we have career speakers. There's at least 60 of those that will happen on campus. Most of them will be at the lecture hall, but they could be in a classroom or they could be in one of our flex rooms of the library, right? 
Um, and all the career speakers are going to be um, people who are coming from the community, um, who are in a specific, you know, um, type of career or occupation. That might be a lawyer, right? It might be a nurse. It could be uh, someone like a, a police a police officer. It could be an engineer, right? And people who get invited personally to this are students who have saved their career in Zello so that I know what you're interested in. That drives who I invite to these, right? And it, these are usually open for most students unless it's connected with a class. Uh, but the objective there, of course, is to make sure that you're able to talk to somebody who does what you want to do in the future. Uh, many of the career speakers happen uh, during what we call an industry sector week. Um, those are weeks where I cluster career speakers together who are in the same uh, kind of industry. So, for example, careers in public service, you're going to get police, fire, government, uh, and people like that. We also have a healthcare week. We'll have one that's going to be building and apprenticeships uh, and many more. So everything culminates together in what we call the Futures Fair. Uh, and that's going to be on March 7th this year. That's out in the main quad. Uh, if you are in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade, you'll remember um, that's the big one that has all the different career speakers, uh, colleges, uh, military, apprenticeships, just pretty much everybody from the community is out there. Uh, we also have uh, career technical training tours. Um, that could be over at Miracosta TCI. It could be at Job Corps. Uh, it could be some of our apprenticeship programs. We certainly went to a few of those last year, and we'll do those again this year. We also do career connection trips. These are to local companies. Um, we went to Genentech, JPL, Gemmer, General Atomics. It's a long list. We also went last year to, to Legoland, some of the car dealerships. And, and typically on one of those, we're going to be talking to many different professionals and we're going to see how the business not only operates, but each of the roles involved. All right. I also conduct career exploration and planning workshops. And uh, also under the College and Career Center, we host the ASVAB, uh, which is the military entrance exam. Uh, that's held at least six times a year. And the next one is going to be coming up on September 6th. Here you can see some of the career activities, right? Um, from over in the lecture hall, that's a that's a speaker's panel. Um, sometimes we'll have a panel of speakers that come in. Sometimes it's just an individual. So many times we'll go off to a location, right? There's one where we were touring a hospital. That was the Naval Hospital uh, down at Balboa. Uh, some of the other career activities uh, will be connected to other classes as well such as the Stock Market Challenge, which you can see down there, which was a competition uh, down in San Diego. I also coordinate with other classes like culinary and auto. Uh, you can see there was a culinary tour um, we had of the Sheraton. Uh, and that was in years past. As well, we visited places like Jet Propulsion Labs up in Pasadena. Um, that's basically all of NASA that's not part of the manned part, but part of where all the probes are. Uh, we've also gone out uh, to air training uh, facilities, uh, such as Coast Air, um, to a place where you can learn how to be a pilot. Uh, there's an example down there of a career speaker. And of course, there's an overhead shot of the future sphere in past years. All right, the College and Career Center also uh, leads up employment activities here on campus. Uh, typically, I'll have a job fair. Um, this will be starting in October, uh, usually once a month. I'll also have special days called Youth Hiring Days, where we'll have employment boot camps. Uh, sometimes we have some manager panels, practice interviews, and also uh, larger job fairs. Uh, of course, there are employers who do come to the Futures Fair. That's on, on March 7th. Um, I also run employment workshops. Um, those will be during the second half of flex time. So you might want to watch out for those, uh, probably more in second semester, where I can teach you how to do a resume, search for a job, apply for one, um, maybe some interview skills, and also money management, et cetera. So um, also, I kind of have an open job lab. If you need employment support, you can always uh, come after school here at the College and Career Center, uh, and I can help you out. 
Uh, if you want to get some experience, especially if you're in ninth and 10th grade uh, and you can't get a job yet because you're too young, well, that's okay. We have a volunteer fair that's going to be coming up on April 21st um, where you can get some experience under your belt being a volunteer in the community. All right, there's some pictures of the employment activities. Um, there's, of course, uh, the Futures Fair up there. And the bottom one is an example of what will happen at one of our job fairs uh, at lunch that happened in Main Quad. All right, so as part of employment, um, I also deal with and approve all the work permits here on campus. So if you want to hold a job uh, and you're under the age of 18, you do need a work permit, right? Um, it's, it's not something you just get um, and then go out and get a job. First, you go out and get the job and then you're gonna submit your work permit application for that specific employer, right? So it's after you've been offered employment, not before. Um, the work permits are, are issued for the school year, right? And you do need to maintain a GPA of 2.0 or above uh, for me to sign the permit or for you to keep that in good standing. Um, if your GPA does go below 2.0, um, the permit can be suspended or revoked. Okay, so make sure to keep your grades up. So communication-wide, I do post things out on the board in front of the College and Career Center. Um, typically, the best place to find all the information um, is on the board. Um, you can come into the center here. I'll have things in the main table. But typically, my, my mode of, of communication uh, to you guys as students is usually through the Canvas page right? And all the announcements on there. I'll also send you some emails. There might be some stuff posted in Zello as well. Okay, so what's on the College and Career Canvas page? It's, it's, it's going to hold everything for the college rep visits, scholarships, career speakers, when trips are happening, when events are happening, and also when the workshops are happening. Plus, I even put in employment opportunities and opportunities all around San Diego County. In your Canvas, when you open it up on your dashboard, you should see a little tile that's got the CCC on it. If you don't, um, the um, link is going to be right here. Your instructor is going to have a copy of the slides, uh, and they can give you this link as well. And you can just click and enroll in the College and Career Center. All right. So during Flex for the rest of the year, Periodically, you're going to be having lessons in college and career readiness. And you're going to be using our program called Zello. If you're in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade right now, you've probably used this before in a workshop with me last year. All right. Um, we're going to be using it again as part of some of these lessons. So the, the lesson today uh, for college and career readiness is just to get into Zello. Right. And to find it, it's really super simple. You just go to your launch pad. You don't need a login or a password or anything else. Uh, we already have that hooked up. So all of you should have a Zello tile. Um, if you're brand new to the school within the last two days, it takes a few days, uh, but it will sync up and the Zello tile will appear for you. All you need to do to get logged in today is just click on the Zello button. Totally easy. And then you're in. You don't have to do anything today in Zello. All you need to do is just verify and make sure you can get logged in and start looking around. All right. Until next time, um, I will see you over here at the College and Career Center, uh, and you'll be doing career exploration uh, with your teachers in the next session.